Hi and welcome back. Well, I should really say hi and welcome back because I've been away. Well, I haven't really been away, but uh, anyone who's aware of the state of the planet, the last time I posted one of these um, videos, um, it was just after New Year's and life was f fine. Uh, and I was just heavily distracted by my new hobby, running. Who knew? Turns out I really like running. Um, I'm terrible at it, uh, but I entered the Auckland Marathon. Please, no applause, because it sounds when I say that, that I did the marathon. I did the 11k version where you go over the, um, the Harbour Bridge. Might put a photo in, but I do kind of look like someone who's heavily dying. It was very hot, very humid, and it turns out that... Um, coming back from injury and then trying to get up to a distance of running was way harder than I was anticipating. Good times, good times. But um, thank you to my friend Lily for running with me um, and being basically the best hype guru you could possibly ever have. And then um, Omicron happened. And so there's just been a lot of uncertainty in the universe. And it's meant that I haven't actually sat down to do any knitting. In the meantime of all of this, my Black Friday haul from Hobby arrived. And clearly I had a lot of plans when I did this purchasing for things that will um, not eventuate just yet. Y you'll see. Um, but I'll go through what it is I've got because I did go a little bit crazy. <laughs> I went a lot crazy. Uh, and this basically... It is the reason that my New Year's resolution of 2022 is don't buy any more yarn. Just use the yarn you have, Juanita, this closet. It's still mostly yarn. We've done a lot of knitting for people. And yet, there's still a lot of yarn. And then when I look at what arrived from, from the Black Friday haul, yeah, I have um, big yarn plans uh, that I'm not sure whether or not I will be able to follow through on looking at my incomplete woven blanket or the fact that I have knitted I knitted that much of a scarf in January and that was it because everything else was just too damn hot and then I got back to work and it's too damn busy and then Pokemon came out <laughs> and so I was a little distracted anyway um my yarn haul so what did I get from Hobby? Well, I started off by getting some of the uh, Giger Amigo. Four balls of this, I think. And I figured I would make some throw pillows. Because people who know me well know that I like throw pillows. My husband calls them throw them away pillows. <laughs> but this is the exact colour of my couch. Could this not be a more perfect sign that I need throw pillows? I don't need throw pillows. Or do I? <laughs> I probably need, I don't need throw pillows, but I got some of this to make some throw pillows because I thought that's going to knit up quickly. It's going to look nice with cables. There's not enough knitting in my living room. That's a lie. There's a lot of knitting in my living room and a lot of Doctor Who references throughout the house, but we don't talk about that much like we don't talk about Bruno. So we got this. We got, this was quite, I think this was on quite a good deal over Black Friday, but I forget what the deal was and I refuse to look at the um, receipt. You'll see why in a moment. Then what did I get? I got a whole cardigan's worth of Tweed Dreams. Now Tweed Dreams is, is acrylic, which normally I'm like, Ooh, acrylic. I don't want to touch acrylic. But um, one of the things I have discovered living through a pandemic and everybody using hand sanitizer all the time and having sensitive skin, <laughs> I am constantly reacting to everything at the moment. Um, I will come home in a red rash. I will avoid using hand sanitizer. I briefly had to go to the hospital and use the industrial one at the thing because they insisted. Uh, everything blistered. It was unpleasant, to say the very least. So... Um, I figured, actually, um, a, an acrylic cardi is probably not a bad idea of a thing that I could own. Also, I kept seeing people rave about this, and I kept seeing it knitted up, and I really liked it. And I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, part of me says textured cardigan, but the other part of me says this is a, um, a spotty yarn. So I need to work out exactly what's going to look best here. So I may make some test swatches of some different things. 
at some point. I say at some point because, well, today is raining. I'm supposed to be going kayaking, but it's raining. It's February and it's raining. This is New Zealand. So February and rain, normally February is just hell on earth hot. Um, whereas we've just recently had floods. Um, climate change, <laughs> am I right? I hate the heat. Anyway, I might be able to do some knitting because it looks like the weather's crap. Um, so there could be a cardigan. Let's not forget about the fact that I still have yarn for Taylor Swift cardigan cardigan and the yellow yarn in there for a cardigan. It's also worth noting I own zero cardigans. Mmm. I know, right? However, when I restarted knitting again after we bought our first house, the first thing I did knit was a cardigan and everybody would constantly compliment me on it. So I'm keen to knit a cardigan. This cardigan that I made was like a black crossover um, tied at the back with two double ribbons. Oh, it was, it was great. But the yarn was like a cotton with some lycra in it. So it was a nice cardigan. I don't know what happened to that cardigan. Definitely wouldn't fit anymore, but a lot of compliments from that cardigan. Maybe that's why I'm hanging on to this dream of having a cardigan. Anyway, so uh, Tweed Dreams knits up on four millimeter needles, so quite excited there. What else did I buy? <sighs> then we move into the fact that clearly I was planning on doing a lot of summer knitting, but this didn't arrive until mid January. So, ordered in November, didn't arrive until mid January. So, a long time to wait anyway. Chances are uh, buying things from um, Black Friday sales during a pandemic from the other side of the world when there's already shipping delays and all sorts of shipping issues that have happened with getting things to New Zealand recently. Um, terrible idea, but I have plenty ready for next summer's knitting. Uh, firstly, I have um, 10 balls of this Rainbow Deluxe orangey cotton yarn. Why? Honestly, can't remember. You see, I really need to buy this yarn. But there's enough there that I must have had something in mind. So I'm hoping that if I go back through one of my notebooks or my phone, there will be something there which is going to spark a reminder. I also need to go back to my knitting project Google Doc and update that because there's a lot of things now that I have the yarn for that... Mm, Mm, I probably um, need to get my life sorted out for. Then, what do we have here? This is what confuses me. So, I bought these cotton yarns. Now, these ones are all eight ply strange colors i mean i'm thinking looking at uh these ones here minus the yellow that that must have been for my valentine's project because i do every year think the hilariousness of valentine's dishcloths it's what happens when you've been married for 20 years i think is that valentine's dishcloths become humorous to you but the yellow i know there was a second ball of yellow you don't want to see what this office looks like because, well, let's just put it this way. I recently just turned it from um, craft nightmare uh, back into work from home office in case the school gets shut, which it might get shut because all the other schools are shut. Watch this space. Um, so there may be another yellow ball somewhere. Not sure why I have the yellow. May hang on to this for a spring knit, but then again, Maybe I was thinking doom a spring knits in autumn because that's when it's spring in the US and most of you that are watching or follow my um, my knitting website. Which, by the way, follow my knitting website. There's a whole stack of knitting patterns if you want them there. They're free and there's a couple of them that are paid, but mostly they're free knitting patterns. Um, usually there's a pattern released every Friday. <laughs> there's not been a pattern released every Friday this year so far, but last year, the end of last year, did quite well at releasing a pattern every Friday. So maybe I was thinking pattern there. Um, a couple of years back, before mum got really sick, I started with um, Dishcloth of the Month Club, which started with a hiss and a roar, and then everything in life got too much. So there's a couple of months worth of dishcloths, but I do know that I have a container full of finished dishcloths. 
dishcloths and some written up dishcloth patterns that I've never got around to releasing. So I should just do that. Then, when should I really? Mm, mm. Then we got to Valentine's Day. So clearly I was planning on something for Valentine's Day and I bought this very pink sparkly yarn, uh, which is the Malaga Glitter because I was planning on some Valentine's projects. Love knitting for Valentine's, fills me with all sorts of joy. However, didn't arrive in time. So next Valentine's, I'm set. Brilliant. Then I bought four balls, two of each color, things fallen off there. But this is reflective yarn. So what I was thinking is I'm going to knit the husband and I a beanie with the reflective thing in there because we've been doing a lot more walking and I figured that as we move into winter it'll get cold and it'll get dark and it's just an added layer of protection and I wanted to try it getting this yarn in New Zealand with the reflective strip in it pretty difficult so got this quite excited. Had a nice chat with a courier when she dropped it off um, about the fact that she had noticed I'd had a lot of yarn <laughs> delivered and we talked about knitting. And then I told her my New Year's resolution and she basically agreed that it was probably a good idea given how much yarn had arrived at my house. And I thought, oh, you're not even the only courier lady. Oh, I'm in trouble. Anyway, so skipping past that, there's now a growing pile of yarn on my floor. I have to just reorganise it. I have to reorganise it anyway. Let's be completely honest. And at some point, I probably should do what this organisation system looks like. Was decent. Then I bought more yarn. Good times. Anyway, so the next thing I have is I've got five of this in red and five of this in teal. Um, this is Cotton Kings. This is the eight ply cotton yarn because I had a plan. And this plan came and hit me. And I'm still going to follow through with this plan because we're now moving into knitting accessories to go with the yarns. I got um, these. They're not leather, but they're leather look. So I'll just lean into that. One in um, this colour and one in black. And it's a pair of black handles and a pair of, what we're going to call call them beige. They were apricot on the website, but it's beige, I'm sure. So I'm going to knit summer handbags for my best friend and I. It's mid-February. Next summer, we will have summer handbags. Um, do I know how to knit a handbag? No. I've been trying to teach myself to crochet, so I should be able to do the bottom bit there. And then it's going to be a mystery. So there may be an update project. There may be a pattern at some point. Who knows? We'll see how we go. But we got handles and we got bottoms because we figured that's going to be fun um, to work that one out. So I'm going to lock that up in a project box. What else did I get? I got some um, heart-shaped stitch markers for all of my Valentine's posts for 2023, clearly. Um, then this box has been ripped open because I was desperate to look at what they were. But I bought four millimeter needles and three millimeter needles. And these are circular ergonomic needles. I don't know what makes them ergonomic. I do know what makes them circular. But I bought two sets of each because I figure I'm going to try the ergonomic needles with my socks because I've enjoyed knitting socks, but I have yet to find the method of knitting socks that I prefer. I've got a method that I prefer wearing, but the actual knitting process of it isn't as nice in my head as some of the other knitting pro processes. Um, so we're still working on that. Also in my sock knitting, um, the 275s and two of those in Zing. I love Zing needles, they fill me with joy. Um, and I'm going to attempt again to do magic loop, but just one sock at a time with these because the ones that I've done two socks at a time They're about this long and they're still sitting in the bag and Every time I turn it around I manage to tangle the yarn So I need to see somebody who knows how to do it properly and not tangle the yarn. Maybe it's just a yarn tangly task, who knows? Um, and then using my points I think I got these because they're pretty um, and everybody needs stitch holders. I go through a lot of these and I never seem to have enough. So I got them because they're 
they pretty colors. Oh, and then there's some, some of the candies that I never get around to eating because I have a killer sweet tooth for chocolate. Don't tend to eat candy. So that was my um, Black Friday yarn haul, which is now all over my floor from Hobby. Um, and hopefully that will turn into some yarn projects rather than just yarn project containers in the closet. At some point, I'm going to have to open my closet and show you. But already I just moved a telescope from there to there so that you didn't see that because it makes me look like I'm hoarding one of everything in here. It's yarn and drama teaching supplies and a telescope. But it fills the space. There's a pile of props there from one at Clay Festival. Good times. Good times. But from here, I'll look at the calm and order in my space. There is no calm and order. Anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed my yarn haul. And I will have this up online at some point. Who knows? I could do myself this favour and look at it and go, well, it's Saturday the 19th of February now. If I'm organised. It's not Saturday, it's Sunday. Is my watch wrong? No, I just can't read. It's Sunday the 20th. I hopefully have this up before the end of February, if nothing else. And then I probably should do an, an hilarious um, what I've been knitting um, vlog. It'll be short. It could probably be a YouTube short, let's be completely honest. Anyway, I should now go and cook some breakfast and um, consider my life because I was looking forward to going for a kayak, but the weather definitely isn't playing ball. But I am hungry. So uh, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And hopefully we will see all of this yarn turned into a thing. Or maybe 2023 is going to be, if you can't use up this damn yarn, you need a new hobby. Hmm. All right. Bye.